completely out of hand. I want to now bring in our guests. I'll be joined in a moment by our political spokespersons, Narayan Tirupati, Vice President of the BJP, and Manu Sundaram, spokesperson of the DMK. But first, uh, we also have Gopal B. Hosur, former IPS officer, and Sri Priyanka uh, Nandakumar. Uh, she's, in fact, uh, the State Headquarters Secretary of the Tamil Nadu Nursery Primary Matriculation and High Secondary Schools Association. Let me start with you, Ms. Nandakumar. Uh, what we saw yesterday, the absolute ransacking, burning, the violence, these can't be parents of students. There has to be some form of organized protest uh, behind it because that's what the Madras High Court also s seemed to indicate, that this was not some mere provocation. It appears to be organized crime is how the court put it. Uh, sir, first of all, our heartfelt condolences to the family who lost their child uh, on behalf of all the private schools operating in the state. So, like uh, Ms. Ritu mentioned, there are some social anti-elements, like our education minister said, who were behind this act. It can definitely not be the family who could, uh, you know, bring uh, such a huge crowd. And what happened yesterday was something that nobody could ever expect to, uh, to happen in a private school. School is a place where uh, we, uh, you know, manage our morale and we teach children what is right, what is wrong. This is something that we have never experienced or expected uh, from the public. And I know what happened was not right for the child. And uh, th that's why we have the government and the court to find justice for the child and the family. Okay. So we uh, were totally shocked. And this is not something that could happen overnight. It was a proper planned act. So, okay, like, let me uh, go across to Narayan Tirupati. Like this said. is not the first case that we have seen of an alleged suicide by a student. Of course, the family is refusing to buy that this was suicide. Uh, there was the Anita case that famously happened because of uh, the NEET exams. Why is this particularly a Tamil Nadu problem, Mr. An Narayan Tirupati? Because, you know, students across the country seem to be taking these exams. We don't hear of such, uh, you know, uh, absolutely startling cases in other states. Why only in Tamil Nadu? Zaga, uh, that's it. Here, everything is politics. And now, this suicide, whether it is suicide or whether it is a murder as claimed by the parents, the only the investigation will reveal. And uh, the Honorable uh, Court has very clearly said that uh, re postmortem has to happen. And uh, yes, we welcome that. It has to happen. Things have got to, you know, clear. But what has happened, the aftermath is very, very atrocious. In fact, uh, Zaka, you know, Today, uh, the police, they, they say that they have arrested uh, two persons from uh, the district secretaries of Makkal and uh, uh, Periyar Dravidar Karagam, an extended arm of DK or DMK. So we, we all know that the same organization were responsible and uh, people from those organizations were arrested during the sterlite protests. We all know that. Uh, we all know that so many people were arrested from these organizations. So the, I think this is a very pre-planned uh, attack on the school. And uh, the same way the buses were burned, the, the police jeeps were burned. And that is how the, the, the modus operandi is almost similar to that of uh, the uh, uh, sterling uh, protest. Okay. So uh, the police, actually the, the, the government machinery has completely failed. The intelligence failed. Last four days there were huge social media uh, you know, uh, rumors and a huge social media organizing uh, people to come there. But in spite of all those things, uh, I think the intelligence failed miserably. The police failed miserably. Let I, us hope for the good. In I want to ask.